So this is Benner's Hill. And like we touched on a little earlier, on July 2nd, uh, this area was used as an artillery platform and a staging area for Confederate infantry uh, before they assaulted Culp's Hill. Now the Confederates would uh, place five batteries here, consisting of about 20 guns. So usually that's about four guns per battery. Now we mentioned the Confederate commander here of this position was Joseph Vladimir, and he was just 19 years old. And he would be on horseback riding up and down the line, disseminating orders to his men while the Union and Confederate cannons were exchanging fire here. Well, a shell would burst nearby Lattimer, wounding him in the left arm. That same shell that would wound Lattimer would also kill his horse. Now that horse would come down on top of him, and it would take several men to abandon the guns here to lift that horse off of Vladimir and Latimer would be taken to a nearby field hospital where his left arm would be amputated. Now sadly, Latimer would die of his wounds received right here in this location. 